This is Abby Malonis, midterm for Intro to Film Analysis, and this is one of the questions for my midterm. So this is the final clip from Iraq and Fragments, a documentary about the situation and American occupation in Iraq. And this is the third portion of the documentary. And the first thing I noticed about this particular part of the clip is that the sun is setting behind that. The sun setting typically signifies the end of something, and that could just be something as simple as the end of the documentary, or it could be possibly symbolic of the ending of their innocence, something like that. And another thing I noticed is usually when light is behind a subject, that is called the halo effect, so it makes them look more angelic or innocent in comparison. And I feel like that is possibly coming into play here with these children that you see who have had so much pressure put on them, and they're really so young. So it shows that they're still innocent, but they're also silhouettes. We can't really make them out. They're, in a way, unknown, and that gives them almost an authority that can't really be described. It's almost subconscious, so that's probably pretty symbolic there. I feel like the act of having a shot of the little girl right after is in its own way kind of symbolic, the way they have her first, the way they have everyone else as a silhouette and then they switch and suddenly it looks a little bit lighter, a little bit nicer, and you can see her, see the pink dress she's wearing. And I think putting any child in a film in this manner has something to do with innocence and just the way it plays into both the characters and the story and everything like that. And of course, now they're following up that shot with this one of burning. And fire is obviously pretty symbolic in a lot of places in movies. I think the way this plays into it, it could represent possibly destruction or re renewal or both. So the way that their way of life, their original societal structure has broken down, but at the same time, it represents their hope and their possibilities of, of starting anew after they've escaped the tyranny of Hussein. And I, now looking at the clip, I believe it's not a sunset, but possibly sunrise, which obviously is usually pretty typical, symbolizing hope and start of a new day, to put it in a cliche way. And also the fact that they shoot from below, it gives the characters more authority again because it makes them seem bigger than they really are, which is a classic film technique. Kurdistan is work behind the Sardinia book. Ah, I'm not sure if I'm Kurdistan Paris. Never in the room, in the room, there are can does does the regime of Kurdistan can. This shot is pretty interesting more in the context of the story than in the filming itself. The way that he is filmed, the frame pretty much entirely encases him, pretty much cuts him off at the very top of his head and at his shoulders. And he is filmed slightly from below, again giving him more authority. And the way that they do this is because he was going to go to school but he had to get a job to work to support his father and his family. And I feel the way he's talking about that, how talking about how Kurdistan has to be this haven for his people. He, he's very young, but he's taking on this position of a whole. And he certainly looks a lot older than he did in other parts of the film when he was being shown as a kid who was playing with his friends. تو پناه با خواهد بستی شالا هر سر دکمه شالا خواه 
قوتي هم لا يكمان ده I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here and just show how it segues so smoothly into this next clip. <laughs> Frequently throughout this documentary, these alternated very serious things with very fun things to show, you know, I suppose, I suppose what he was saying was this is a very serious matter, and it's an extreme case, but at the same time, they're still children. They're, they still want to have fun. They still want to enjoy themselves. And so, alternating this child who's had so much responsibility placed on him, and then showing him uh, playing with his friends and all these children having fun. And I feel like when I look at this, it, to me, it looks more like a home movie, almost. So, a home movie is something of familiarity. And you know, having fun, snowball fights is pretty much a universal constant. And that's <laughs> now, this shot in itself is extremely symbolic and very significant to the film. The way it's filmed, he's so far away and so small, even though he's the center of the frame, it looks like the grass is warping him see some of the blades of grass from our perspective look taller than him and it shows in a way how young he really is. It, this movie keeps emphasizing that. Now here again we see the symbols of burning, of smoke rising up in the sky. And typically when you see that, it's usually a symbol of bad things, so not a very good omen. And I feel like in this case, it's symbolizing how this boy has now had to give up his dream school in order to become one of the workers. Now I'm going to skip here again a little bit and just get to this point, which is almost at the end of the clip where it's showing them rolling a tire up a hill. And I feel like, in a lot of ways, tire circle represents some kind of cycle. Maybe perhaps life, perhaps union. But in a way, I feel like that wasn't really intentional. I don't see how that could fit in with the rest of the film. It's probably just happens to be a circle. And again, the, this is an actual sunset, and it is closing out not just stuff many but the day. The again the sunset behind them, the silhouette effect, and this doesn't look quite as angelic. It looks just a lot more serious, a lot less childlike. And then you have it followed by again the you know burning of fire. There's a lot of that in this ending um, section. The way the smoke covers everything, and the way you see the clouds in the sky, but at the same time, even with these seemingly negative omens, they're still celebrating, they're still dancing, and seem to be enjoying themselves. And again, the way the shots are framed, the boys, the younger boys are in the center, even if they're surrounded by older men. Again, putting emphasis on the fact that the story is about their innocence, their youth, in the face of this war. Here again we have the light behind him. Again, the halo effect is here. It sort of glows around the edges of his face. And it's interesting how it's juxtaposed with the fact that he's smoking with his father. So it's considered a very 
more adult activity. That's what adult men do. So it's showing both this grown-up thing he's doing, how he's essentially become a grown-up at this point, but at the same time, he still is retaining a little bit of that innocence. <laughs> the ending shot of the documentary, which of course has again, you can't really tell if it's sunrise or sunset, you can't tell whether it's supposed to be hopeful or symbolize perhaps closure or the ending of something, but still, the way long shot is, he's walking off toward the horizon, toward something we can't quite distinguish, and that in itself shows possibly authority or responsibility or just a general ending of innocence there.